We are. I'm up first. Okay, you got the floor. Okay. Hello, I'm Joan Phelps. Uh, Dr. Jackie Russo and I are co-directors of education for My Academy of Health Excellence, and we'd love to welcome you here to our WellFit video. Each month in our newsletter, we discuss one of Mayo Clinic's 12 healthy habits. And uh, this month's healthy habit is strength and flexibility. And here to offer his expertise on this subject is Mr. Fadi Malouf. Fadi has been a personal trainer for about 25 years and also has a background in nutrition. And he brings his skills to the Academy of Health Excellence to support and guide our members. So today, Fadi has offered to answer some of our questions about strength and flexibility. So Fadi, thank you for joining us today. And uh, let's get right to our questions. So my, I'm up first, my first question is, why is strength and flexibility so important and how does it affect our everyday lives? Great question, Joan, and thank you for having me. It's a great honor and pleasure. To answer your question, why is strength training and flexibility so important today? Primarily is because it's not used anymore. Most people spend quite a bit of time behind a computer. And so what happens to the muscles is they atrophy, simple as that. So with muscle atrophy, you're going to lose uh, your balance in, some, in many ways. And uh, the, uh, the normal things that we are born to do just starts to go out the window. Uh, we typically walk in a straight line. Uh, we don't walk side to side, you know, from one side to the other or backward like an athlete or football player, but we're actually designed to do that. We're actually able to climb trees and uh, at least a mountain or a small mountain here or there. Uh, and we are a very dynamic uh, beast, to be honest with you. <laughs> so we're, in some sense, we're animals and we've lost that animal instinct. And I like to take a more of a, like a holistic approach and think of uh, we're not we're not having a hunt anymore, but or gather, uh, but we um, we we still like to play. So I feel like one of the best ways to exercise uh, is by playing. Um, so back to the importance of it is because our society and our lifestyle does not include uh, daily activity as as often. So we have to be sure. intentional about uh, moving and exercising. Great, thank you. Okay. That, that's yeah. great. That, that's really good. A great background. So, Fadi, how would you then um, measure? Let's say you're working with a new client for the first time. How would you measure their current state of strength and flexibility, you know, so that they could do something to start working on it and improve their strength and flexibility in their daily lives? Yeah, um, great question. How do you measure? The level of strength and mobility so the the old school you know can you reach down and touch your toes that's a you know it's <laughs> I a remember very that one. simple one and it really works um and for some people they're very uh, they're stiff and it's hard for them to do that sure uh, but really good indicators it's like you have a hard time getting out of bed and when you do get out of bed finally it's hard to walk so uh, like uh, your calves are tight your your ankles uh your lower back uh, I, I mean, I, I see people like that in their 30s get out of bed and they're kind of hunched over. And if I have not been doing, I'm pretty good about my strength training, but sometimes I lack on my stretching. Uh, right. But, you know, but when I do my yoga or my ongoing stretches on a regular basis, I, I pop out of bed, no problem. So these are just little telltale signs that, you know, you're, you're stiff and, and you're on the weaker side. Uh, other, other things like, you know, Doing a push-up, even off your knees, if you're um, not as strong, you should be able to do maybe 10 push-ups um, or a squat or a sit-up. You know, really basic movements. You don't need a gym for those type of uh, movements are really good indicators that your strength and flexibility is, in, is still in place. Does that help? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Right? Does that answer? Yeah. Okay, uh, and what kind of a workout do you recommend that would be easiest to perform on, uh, you know, uh, uh, consistent, on consistent basis? basis? Yeah. Consistent yeah. basis. Like, I'll, just, I'll give you one exercise. This has been uh, featured in New York Times and a number of uh, uh, times. <laughs> um, it, one exercise that gets a lot of uh, muscles working is called the burpee. Have you heard of it? I just saw yes. that in the Wall Street Journal. 
It's yes. the number it's one It always exercise. keeps getting re uh, featured over and over and over. So uh, I did actually a video on it. Um, I kind of, you know, made it a little more advanced. I, I did a burpee and into a pull-up. It's, it's, it's a little advanced if you <laughs> yeah. work on a regular basis uh, to really in incorporate your back muscles. The pull-up is what's missing from the burpee. Right. Uh, but uh, other than that, the burpee is good for more of a pressing movement because you do have to go from standing to the floor a push up and sit back up and you do use your chest your, your triceps your biceps Before. your quads your core yeah. all to do that um, movement so uh, and even re raising over your heads your shoulders and a little bit of your back muscles so uh, the one exercise that you can practice on a daily basis is a burpee so i won't even see i won't even say a whole routine just you know that one exercise could do a, a, a great great wonders for your for your body even if you just have to start with one, right? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. And you don't have to jump down. You can modify it. People, so many people quit because they don't know, they can't do the exercise. So even if you had to just climb down to the floor and crawl back up, you could do that. Uh, and that, by the way, that's a very good indicator if, if you're strong enough or you're mobile enough. Some people have a difficult time laying down on the floor and getting back up. And I've had to do that with clients. And, and uh, the moment I ask them to lay down to do maybe an abdominal exercise or a hip exercise or some, some sort, and I see they're having a difficult time getting up and down, I say, like, hey, guess what? You got homework today. And it's like, what's that? <laughs> You're going to get down on the floor and back up every day until that feels uh, comfortable to you or easy. Right. Which kind of leads us into the last question we wanted to ask you, you know, like other than going to a gym or actually getting, you know, just jumping into an exercise routine. Let's say you've been sedentary a long time, but you really want to try. What are some simple things that they could do at home to increase their strength and flexibility? Yep. That's a great one. So I always like to start with just walking. Most people don't walk enough yeah, uh, and get, getting outside. A lot of people are also inside, no matter what the weather is like, go outside, cold, hot, go outside. Great if advice. the tempers are extreme, uh, just limit the time. Just five minutes, uh, it's going to actually build your immune system and strengthen your, and strengthen your entire body. So yeah. being outside, whether you do the exercises in home or outside, they're very beneficial. I've actually gonna, I'm going to provide you a, a list of exercises and stretches here shortly that uh, members can access. Um, but uh, things that doesn't require exercise, I love to dance. When you dance, great idea. Fabulous. I love dancing. It's fun and it requires you to bend in many different ways and move. And like, I have a, I have, I do ballroom. So I started, got into ballroom because I was in a really bad car accident in 2012. I had three herniated discs and they wanted to operate. I didn't want to operate. I wanted to rehab and I did that. So, and, but what got me back into physical fitness was ballroom dancing. And still to this day, I still do it. So, um, so playing, finding something that you enjoy, is more important than trying to go into the gym and exercising. I love really? that dancing thing because I did we talk about um, music therapy being so good. And so if yes. you combine music and exercise, wow, that's a, that's a win-win. Well, Fadi, thank you for being our guest today. We, we yeah. really enjoy learning from you. And uh, I, what we'll do with your list of exercises that, and stretching that you're gonna share, We'll attach it to the newsletter, so it'll be they'll be able to the members will be able to access it from the newsletter. Awesome. Um, what we'd like our members to do though is to give us your feedback. Tell us what your favorite fitness, uh, strength, and flexibility routine is. We'd love to hear from you. So you can send that to us at info at myahe.org. And as always, we hope you have a healthy day. Signing off from Wellness Works Group, cheers to your health. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Bye for now. Thank you, Bye. Bonnie. Bye.